Hello, hello, hello. We are live, pal. This is Friday, July 17th, and I am back with uh, Brian Stan here, by the way, and I'm here with my first gaming live stream in, God, in months. Not since just before the pandemic did we uh, have one of these. And so I'm really happy to be back here doing this. Um, this is probably the last one I'll be doing in this in this living room, by the way. I meant to start streaming in my office. Um, but then what happened was, turns out my projector that I have mounted on my ceiling could not read the N64. So I couldn't do a natural uh, you know, live stream. I'm still using the N64 here. Now I've got an emulator on my computer and everything, so I can do that, but I don't have a controller that's like PC compatible. That's coming like today. So if I discover that problem one day earlier, I'd be able to have it the way I, uh, you know, the way I wanted to. So we're doing this right now. We're playing Virtual Pro Wrestling 2. So if you can't read the stuff on the screen, then you and I are in the same boat. Um, but I have a translation guide on my phone, so we can go through. This is uh, a Japanese import. I actually uh, modded my um, my N64 to be able to read the Japanese games, and so now I can do this. Um, and then I discover ROM, so what's the point? But, um, yeah, this is going to be fun. I don't understand Japanese at all. So, again, I'm going through the translation guide. And this is pretty much, if you've played WrestleMania 2000 for the N64, then you might have a way of navigating around this. Because it's very similar. In fact, I completely forgot to uh, show you the intro to this. Hey, I got to hit reset on this. Because you got to see the intro. You can't watch an N64 wrestling game without seeing the introduction for it. Here we are. Tell me if you're getting game volume, by the way. I think you should be. So you can see there's a lot of similarities visually between the intro for Mania 2000 and the intro for this game. Only the characters are different, the moves are different, uh, the settings, the backgrounds are different. And you can see Vader's in this game, Isawa's in this game. Um, <laughs> sorry, oh more. Sorry, I was distracted because Mike Barton's in this too. Mike Barton and Johnny Ace. These two guys. There's Johnny Ace right there. Ace Crusher. So you can recreate that match. There's going to be a lot of names that uh, I'll, I'll go through the roster and everything, so you'll know who's in this thing. Um, Doctor Death Steve Williams is in this game. There is a translation patch. I know. I got to now that I have my emulator. I can do that. That'll be easier. <clears throat> Yeah, I've never actually played this game before. Um, there's Stan Hansen, he's in the game. There's big old Larry. And there's like Giant Kamala too. Not Kamala, not the original Kamala, but Giant Kamala. Which I think is really interesting. So, yeah, I'm really excited for this one. Um, I was playing a bit of Virtual 1, because I got that too. And like, I love playing as Benoit in the game, because he's got different finishers. He's got his old Japanese look. He's not wearing like four horseman tights. He's wearing like these blue and white Japanese. Oh my god, it's super brain busted, Jesus. And then also, um, yeah, his, his his standing finisher is uh, two Germans. Like, he gets you in the. I, and that's a cool finisher. Yeah, Warzone was my first wrestling game, too. That was. <laughs> I was. Uh, I was brought in the hard way in a wrestling game. Matt Davis, $2 super check. Who can stop the path of Zane? No doubt, Cole. It, it, it's like the music in this game is dead similar, except for a couple of exceptions. And you'll see in the intros. The intros are one of the biggest differences um, between this game and uh, Mania 2000. Am I getting audio? No. Oh, hang on, my soundbar died. Just a second, I have to... Sometimes if I leave for a minute, the soundbar will stall... And turn off. I'm like, boy, sure is quiet for me. Oh, I guess he is Wild Pegasus, but he's unmasked, so. Yes, Johnny Ace is in this game. That's what I want to play as more than anyone is Mike Barton and Johnny Ace. So, let's just do. I, I'm, this is pretty much exhibition, and then you just pick your arenas. Um, there's the Egg Dome, there's Cork and Hall, there's the AKI building. 
There's a ballpark, which is pretty cool. Um, I do love this, that you can actually see the venues and stuff. Tokyo. I'm in the fucking Tokyo Dome! The TKO Dome. <laughs> yeah, alright. Um, okay, so that's Giant Baba, which I think it's... What's really fascinating about this game is uh, just paid racing, $2 super check. This is WWE Revenge's non-union Mexican equivalent. This is an all-Japan game. But I love the Giant Babas in this game, and I love that, like, he's got that physique. That, that, that's not a possible physique in Mania 2000, or Revenge, or anything American. It's exclusively for Giant Baba, which I think is really cool. Uh, so it's Giant Baba, Mitsuharu Misawa. I'm going to get some of these names wrong, folks. I'm sorry. That's Misawa. That's Ogawa. Masahito Kakihara. Uh, Kenta Kobashi. That's who I'm really excited to play as. It's Kenta right there. Um, uh, Jun Akiyama. Kentaru Shiga, I think his name. And then Kawada. Akira Tao. I'm sorry, I'm making these names wrong. And that's, that's Barton. Maybe I'm getting these wrong because I'm just going down this list here. I might be fucking up. Um, that that's that's definitely Mike Barton. No, that's not Mike Barton. Uh, that's Amori right there. Is Don Fry in this game too? Um, let's see here. This is going to be some. I'm, I, there's going to be some names I'm not going to get here, but I do like this page here. Oh, here's the names I recognize. There's Vader, who literally, when you go to his alternate outfits, he's got. He looks like giant baby. <laughs> he's giant baby right here. Yeah, playing as Vader is fun. I, 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 when I was when I was practicing the game, I played a little bit as Vader. Yeah, God, these are just like styles and looks you just don't see. There are a few of these faces that carried over to Mania 2000. I can vividly remember, and you'll see here as there's like, Hanson. Like the mic, that's that's Johnny Ace, John Laurinaitis, and that phase is definitely in Mania 2000. And I always wondered what, um, who that was supposed to be. This is Mike Barton. Although at first that was Ken Shamrock. <laughs> Mike Barton. These two guys. That's Doctor Death. Um, no, that's not. No, that's Gary Albright. I'm sorry. That's Gary Albright. I believe. I mean, that's Gary Albright. I'm sorry. I was under the impression that Dr. Death was in this game. Apparently, um, Scott Norton's in this, and Jushin Liger. There's, there's like so many friggin' names in this game. Like, it's insane, this roster. It feels so much bigger and more vast than um, WrestleMania 2000, or even No Mercy. Cool look. Like Pat Jericho, that first one. Um, yeah, apparently Liger's in this game. Uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be Liger. That's the most Liger-esque mask that I can see, or maybe I'm wrong, but... There's more mask dudes down the line, so... That kind of looks like Mike Awesome. I'm not... Yeah, we're gonna have uh, some Brawl for All stuff here. <laughs> for sure. I supposed to be talking about you? No. So that found me as Liger. Also, the mask's so different, too. Even in uh, Virtual Pro Wrestling 1, which is the closest to uh, World Tour, it's still very different in terms of its appearance and like what some of the characters have. Who are these big fun? Yeah. I, and like, I think with all, with all the, the people who aren't all Japan, like... They're not exactly the same. They look just like they're um, they're they're kind of like tributes to them essentially. They're not one to one. You have to like apparently do some very subtle editing. I think it's like the Funks, so like the young Terry and Dory Funk. Yeah. Now this freaks me the fuck out. Who is this supposed to be <laughs> with this face here, with no eyes? I think this is what you get when you take the mask off Kane. In the creation mode. And that's a scary face. That is all his. It's clearly supposed to be, you know, Andre the Giant. I'm guessing. I think Norton. Gregory Watts, 199, is Benoit in this one too. I don't believe he is. That was like, that was like evil. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. 
So yes, this is and this this has got to be Don Fry. That mustache, that's definitely Don Fry. The, the tiger mask is pretty dope. No, WrestleMania 2009 out of that. Where'd I go? I've been here all along, man. Um, Eyeless Emotion is Dr. Death. And these are, then these are the creative spots, slots for that. So, that's just a, you never ever beat me. I like that text in the back, it's kind of fun to read. All right, where was I? Now I got to pick somebody. Um, I gotta I got be Johnny Ace. I gotta see how Johnny Ace is in this game. And then we'll put him up with, uh, I'm just gonna get random until I find someone cool. Just this dude, why not? <laughs> okay, and this is the same basic rules. It is Dark Tiger Mask. It totally is. I do love you get like the shot of the set like this. It kind of looks like Dieter Bader. <laughs> like he's holding it a sneeze. The music is very reminiscent of something from like Revenge. This is not a mod, by the way. This is actual, genuine N64 goodness. Not every wrestler gets their theme. Oh my god, that's amazing. He has a shirt. Feel the power. Oh, what the fuck was their name? Their team name? He and Barton. Uh, there's something really generic. Like the experience or some shit. Um... Ah... Uh, yeah, I love this. Oh, the uh, grocery store for the wrestler closed. Yeah, this is different. You don't get this in um, tell you the crown for a second. Yeah, you don't get this in WWE games. You get the uh, the ring announcement school. Yes. The movement, thank you, yes. <laughs> That's what I remember. I, was... I made a whole joke about that. Yeah, it was the movement. I love that there's the second. Come on. Wow, he's not that much taller. If you don't got it, figure it out. What does the WXO stand for? I don't know. I don't care. God. Um, <laughs> what inspired me to play a, a Pyoto game when I've admitted to not following or caring about Japanese wrestling? Because it's fucking cool, man. Like, how often do you get to play a game like this where it's, like, so familiar, yet it's so wildly different in terms of its presentation and uh, its characters? I, mean, I love the fact that this game exists and that there's, like, a parallel universe where Japan got, like, a really cooler game, like, a you know, in a lot of ways. Hmm. I know. I'll get to. I'll get to Vader. Don't no, believe me. I got a lot of people I'd like to play as here in this. Um. Boom. Okay, I'm trying to get a feel for. Now, hang on. What's this ramp? Is this? This is not a. Oh my God! It's like. That's so cool. That's so. Ra that's so rad. Oh my God! The the ramp is parallel to the apron. It's the same height. That's so cool. It's just a little thing like that that I love. It's basically just like the same surface as the other side of the ropes. Yeah, I got my rumble pack. Rumble pack play is represent. And you can still do like rope spots too. Hang on, what the f That was so weird. Like I said, because I saw Andre was leading on the ropes like that. Andre, not Andre. Ugh, he's gassed, brother. Oh shit, we're gonna get Ace Crusher on the floor? Oh god. Is he bleeding already? That's not the Ace Crusher, it must be an outside finisher or something. Which is pretty cool if you can actually make that distinction. Oh god. So now, um... Yeah, so like I said, I actually went to eBay to get this. Cost a little bit. A little bit of money. Oh, see, that's like you can't, like... 
you can you can uh, throw somebody out of the ring, like when you're close to. Maybe it's not a strong grapple. No, wrong button. Shit. Okay, yeah. Hey, there you go. Boom. I love that. That's so cool. Yeah, but you can get ROM for this too. It's not on Bim's Lair. I looked that up and it wasn't there, but you can find a virtual pro wrestling 2 ROM. Whoop, that's not what I want to do. Cool. Um, you also, you can wrestle a match that's not at all like, you know, uh, a Japanese match. Uh, come to Quizlemania and save us from Luke's Reign of Terror. Um, stand by. Stand by for an announcement, that's all I'll say. How am I recording this? OBS. It's the one bodacious streaming tool. I don't know. Oh, GT is blocked. Bam. Haunting. How much strength? I'm surprised that Johnny Ace struggles so much here. He's a big dude. Big fella. Oh, I backfired. I love that. He's a trippy dude. Um, would I like to collab with Mega Ran? Yeah, I'd love to. I, I showed up, I, I appeared on his uh, show. Some time ago, we actually talked about doing some collaborative stuff. I just didn't get around to working on that. That's the biggest thing. Recording the N64. I mean, it's all OBS. It's like, I have an Elgato game capture. It's like, and I just discovered today that the one that I have here, it's not. It's end of life. It's not being produced anymore. It's not, it's not even like something you can find on Elgato's website anymore. Um, but I have, an, I have an HD60 for like the higher res stuff. Is OBS complicated? It hasn't been for me. To give you an example, I have tried, what's the other big one? Like Twist, it's on here somewhere. I don't know, it's the other big streamer tool. And I, tr oh shit, there's a time limit. <laughs> I gotta fucking put the pedal to the metal here. This is not Japanese No Mercy, this is Japanese um, WrestleMania 2000, so. Would I consider reviewing all Japan stuff? Um, I don't know. I've had some requests to do some Japanese shows. Like I've been, I've got some classic requests for um, what do you call it? Oh shit! I need to put the hold on. I go. Um, so Ace Crush is an Irish whip, you say? Let's try that. No. Oh, okay. Boom. Got the big man up. Alright, even the referee sounds different. x -Vid. That might be the one I was thinking of. But yeah, I, I just think, um... I just, I don't know, it was hard for me to get accustomed to the newer, the other stuff. Oh, how long it's been, okay. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Ace not that good, turns out. He's not very fun to play as. He's super generic. Um, okay. Let's see here, I've got my translation guide here. My guide, but where the fuck did it go? <laughs> I literally had it and it just disappeared. The fuck, phone? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna shut my mouth. Duh, translation. House of Fullier, $5 super chat. Have I had a chance to look at Lucha Libre USA and Masked War? Yes, no, I've not. I remember they did a show here in Reno what, many years ago. Um, so we're, I'm looking at the game modes here. Okay, Exhibition. Hang on, back up. That's Exhibition, League, Rally, Edit Mode, Options, Ranking, Tournament, and Royal Road Succession. I gotta figure out what the hell that is. Draven Xander with a $10 Super Chat. Oh, I should play WrestleMania 18. He said, I spent full price on the game when it came out on YouTube. Dude, that's why I got the GameCube. Legit, was for WrestleMania 18. I remember buying the GameCube, 
renting Mania 18, hating it, and then immediately going, did I, did I make a bad call on purchasing this GameCube for the purchase of this one shitty ass game? Uh, and it turns out, no, I've had a lot of fun with GameCube over the years. Many games I've enjoyed from that, but yeah, Mania 18 fucking sucked. <laughs> we should, I should try and play that. I probably have that. Cast the last $20 super chat. I've always wanted sort of a Smash Brothers dream match with the AKI wrestling game rosters. I would love that. I'm sure it's like if you look hard enough, there's enough like out there created things. I should make sweaty beef again. I really should. I will, uh, God, I would not know what the fuck to do. Now this has got to be, what is Royal Succession though? Hold up. Royal Road Succession. The Royal Road. Not Royal Broad, thank you. Succession. <laughs> Course of one year in all Japan. Okay, so your percentages. Every wrestling game of this era is the same menu music as THQ uh, saves them some money. I no, this is No, oh fuck. Oh god, this is who champions are, clearly. Um, this is somebody else's save file. No! Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> I remember enough of that. <laughs> so what is rally move then? They messed up our rally! There's like a rally mode, but nowhere does this guy tell you what the fuck rally is. Um... Hang on, I'm sorry. This is going to be a lot of me looking up. <laughs> like... Okay. Oh. oh, okay. That's a make your own show. Get a, a Hassle Foyer, $5. Get a hacked PS2 to play New Japan on PS2. Lesnar's on there. Oh, yeah. I, I want to play those old Japanese PS2 games as well. Um, yeah. Okay. And then... So what was the first thing? Okay, it's Rally. League. What the hell... This big nonsense. <laughs> Jushin Liger for, for five seconds, yeah. Did I Mania 19? Um, I did. <laughs> that's all I can really say about it. Okay, and League is round robin. Okay, that's basically what it is. Um, okay, back to exhibition we go. And then, let's do a three way. I guess I can understand that. Ballpark, tight. Tight, 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 tight. Um, I want to be Masala. Let's do it. Um, bleh. don't do that. Doll. Okay, uh, let's get Ogawa in there too. And let's get uh, Kenta. Fuck, why not? Does it matter if you're some karate? Depends, man. It doesn't matter to me. Well, it does matter to me if you buy my If You're Some Karate t-shirt, which is now available at ProWrestlingTees.com slash wrestling with your grad. So. Oh, shit. Draven, Draven Xander, $5 Super Chat. WrestleMania 19 on GameCube. To me, that's one of the best underrated wrestling games. The story mode is... Is there an earthquake going on there? Yeah, the story mode is, like, insane compared to most story modes in wrestling. Yeah. Yeah, um... God, it's been so long since I've been able to do a, a game live stream, guys. It's, it's been really fun to be able to get back to doing this. Uh, being able to go live again. Um, so... This team fucking slaps. <laughs> House of Foyer, $5. Is it me or does the US title look like the Legends of Wrestling USA title game? I don't know. I'm trying to think about that. Well, thank you, Morgan.
All right, that's cool. <laughs> Am I a fan of New Legacy? I mean, I've seen some of the older videos. Like, I've watched like the classics when they like would look through all the story modes that people created, like Chop and Drop and other crazy shit. Um, what was the one? There's like the scene where like John Cena and Ricardo Rodriguez are having a dinner date. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Cena goes, I've got HPV or something. <laughs> Darian Wells, 999 Super Chat. Would I be interested in a Marvel versus Capcom style fighter with like WWE or All Japan, New Japan? God, yes. Like, I love wrestling games that, you know, dare to be different, you know, try different things. There's the background music. All right. Okay, I have to remember, I'm Masala here. I'm just confused because, like, why? Why come out last? I was the first one. <laughs> I was player one. Did I ever play WCW vs. The World? No, but I want to. Um, that is a goal of mine. House of Flair. $5. Man, thank you, House of Flair. You're dropping a lot of little super chats today. Have you heard of Half Pint Brawler or Hulk Hogan's Micro Championship? I've heard of both of those. Uh, Micro Championship Wrestling. He's actually come to town here occasionally. I've never gone, though. I went to one, no, that's not true. I went to one MCW show and it came here to town and it fucking sucked. <laughs> like, it was me, it was Jay Biggs, and it was uh, a friend of ours, Nico, who you might have seen in a couple of my videos. Um, it's usually under a mask. And so, uh, but yeah, the three of us went to this show. I think he was at the show. Anyway, we went to the show. It was at one of the casinos here in town. It started like an hour late. And then, like, when it finally began, the opening bit was just like, here's a parade of the talent you're going to see on this show tonight. Oh, there it is. Match is over. <laughs> no, um... Ouch. No, but, um... Yeah, start hella late, and once it started, it was a parade of the talent. It was, like, the host, the dude with, like, the must the big beard. That dude, um... That's a cool double stomp. That's a cool senton. Wow, this, oh, this is fun. Um... So, yeah, dude with the beard comes out, introduces the talent, and so it's like six dudes, and they each come out and like, I think they all, no, Tiny had promo time. He was like this moody dude with the blonde, uh, moody guy with blonde black hair, and he came out last, he cut a peel promo and everything, and then, so they had the whole parade, and then like, after that, they all went to the back, like, okay, we'll start our wrestling in the next 15 minutes. Like, wait, we waited <laughs> hella late, for a late start, we just like just got a hello from everybody, and then you're going back? Is now it's intermission? <laughs> what the hell? Clearly it's some ploy by the casino. They just gotta drink more. Get them the bars more. Give them as many breaks as you can. Um, and then it finally started, and the matches were what they were. And it was like, it was two singles. No, it was three singles, and then it turned into a battle royal. Because it was six guys. And that was it. And I didn't even pay for it, but I wanted my money back. That was how bad the show was. I was so tired and miserable by the end of it. It was just all so drawn out. Boom. Oh. Hey, oh. Yes, taunt after you do a special to activate it. What? Okay. God, I look, we're just beating the fuck out of Kenta right now. <laughs> like, I'd say he's the wor worst for wear in this, in this contest. Oh, God, a cool double stomp. Oh, my God. Four of them, knock your dick, Stiff. Have I seen the monsters where Herman becomes a wrestler? No. I haven't heard of it. Somebody asked me earlier about when will animation month return. I don't know. <laughs> like... Because now the format is different on my channel and I'm not doing consecutive long forms anymore, um, Animation Month would ultimately just be like two episodes <laughs> over the course of the month. Uh, oh shit, I... There, I missed one. Clay Hughes Music, $5 Super Chat. No question, but here's five bucks, thanks. And House of Flair with another $2 Super Chat. Been having Drexel make some designs for me. Uh, are you talking about Derek Drexel? The Devil Drexel? No, I know how C right does it. Oh, unused audio in this game of Mike Barton being versus Bart Gun. Do another Colonel Battle Royal. Uh, it was so much easier when like the Colonel costume was like built in. 
I feel it'd be tougher now in some way. Okay, I'm just gonna fuck you up with my finisher. Oh my gosh! <laughs> He's dead! Oh, okay. <laughs> I fucking shit up too with that suplex. Um, did Masala die in the ring? Yeah, I guess he did. Yeah, fuck. Apparently, um, oh God, somebody posted a comment on my rest on my review of the wrestler. Um, that apparently Masala died the same day the film was released. Like that's crazy. Don't do in 2K20. Maybe I should. The screen looks too dark. Yeah, I keep trying to reckon with that. That's been difficult for me to figure out. Oh, Jesus. I love the strong style. No sell the German. There we go. Ah, Jesus. Do one for you, too. Dropping bombs on people. Oh yes, and the on the sound is there different too when people shout things. There we go. No, Big Sal's alive. That has been confirmed by himself. He commented on my video. <laughs> House of Foyer, five dollars. We'd love to see a celebrity death match over the top. There is a celebrity death match game actually. Um, I have it somewhere in my collection. I believe it's Xbox or maybe it's PS2. Yes, yeah, PS2. So I've got a PS3. So like that's I believe the backwards compatible version. And um, maybe one day I'll play that. Cast the Lass. Five dollars super chat asks, what's something nice that's happening in wrestling that isn't to do? With death, COVID, or someone being fired. Um, I don't know. Like, I think that even though we are in these weird times, it's still cool that people are getting looks and opportunities. Like, Will Hobbs recently uh, from APW, who I've worked with, showed up in AEW, uh, APW, I should say, has showed up in AEW the last couple of weeks. He's been, like, one of Britt Baker's like, security guards. He's wrestled a couple matches on Dark. And so... He's, uh, he's, uh, it's really cool that he got that look, and I hope that they do more stuff with him. Could happen to a, a nicer guy. Um, so what else is nice in wrestling right now? I don't know. There's so much shit in wrestling. There's this whole fucking firestorm with Chase and Rance, convicted and admitted sex offender and pedophile, and, um... Yet we see footage of like Ricochet and Casey Catanzaro and other wrestlers still training in his dojo. It's like unbelievable. Um, and then like I'm hearing tales like, oh, the reason that they still that Chase and Rant still has a rep has people working with him is oh, because he gives them free weed or he's like their drug dealer. I'm like, there's gotta be better weed out there. There's gotta be. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Uh, no, it's like, I just cannot believe that that would be the reason Chase, anyone, anyone, gets to hang out with people. Uh, <laughs> that's unbelievable to me. Will Meister, $10 super chat. In the past, both WWE and TNA wrestlers have competed on Family Feud. Do you think we'll see, like, oh, WWE versus Impact or AEW? That'd be fun. I don't know if we will, though. Um... Let's do succession mode. Let's do giant baba succession mode. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be Kenta Kabashi. My partner. Um, Clay Hughes asks, are those my guitars? Yes, but don't act impressed because I don't play them. <laughs> I play a little bit of acoustic. And I obviously play it's electric too, but like I tried learning bass. I wanted to. I bought a bass. I'm like, I'm gonna learn it. I didn't learn it. So I have a bass. And I'd love to learn more about that. It's just like it's never been 
too high my party is. Marching up to Sivan with the eagle and the sword. Praising the God of death until we eat our last reward. Our last reward. For the... <laughs> what, what is that song? What is that music? Um, will Rodzilla ever return to wrestling? Um, God, hopefully not. Uh, Rick Drayson's guitar. God, Rick Drayson. That's a deep cut reference. A five second reference on this thing. Oh God, how do I know which one's mine? Um, okay, this one's good. That's me, I guess. Uh, skip. No, I don't know. Skip, 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 skip. How long are these matches, by the way? Because I love, like, playing WrestleMania 2000 on here and, like, doing this very same thing. And, like, the times are always, like, an hour long. Hour long, double count out. <laughs> okay, here we go. Brian, Jess and Dylan say hello. Oh, hey. Hello, hello. Yes, thank you, Dylan and Jessica. Miss you guys. It's the NTV Sports March. Oh, NTV, Nippon Television News to Broadcast. That's interesting. That's, that's so fun. Akiyama. Oh, if you hold down start during the wrestler's entrance, he cuts a promo before the match? Do you? Are you just ribbing me right now? I love the jackets, man. <laughs> yeah, for N64, the audio is really good. So we're starting out with a banger of a match here, folks. Just taunting. It'd be great. This match is just taunting. It's all sports entertainment here in Japan. Oh, the C buttons. Thank you. I'm going to start to skip the entrance. Oh, God. Makes you think of the chops that he and Samoa Joe traded. Uh, by the way, speaking of Ring of Honor, I'm, uh, if you caught week by week this week on the YouTube channel, I appeared there doing a bit of a top five for my favorite t-shirt designs right now on the ROH, uh, shop. So check that out if you haven't yet. And also I'll be appearing in a smaller capacity in this next episode, which drops Monday at 10 a.m. Um, so yeah, if you guys are watching that, I'm, I'm liking how those week by weeks are kind of turning out. Okay, C buttons, got it. Oh, water break. Hmm. Thoughts on Sarah Logan's pregnancy. Good for her. You know what I think is cool? Is that I think of Becky Lynch being able to, you know, uh, take time off for this. I think it shows that any, you know, if she's able to do it, then I think that it opens the door for other women in the company to do that. I think that's, um, so Sarah Logan, good for her. Finisher and then taunt, you become burning and super finishes. Okay. Okay, I, thank you for, for clarifying that, because I was confused by that. Who's the father? It's, it's Eric from the Viking Raiders. No, I will not be showing off that AJ Styles shirt. I should do another like, worst merch one. Yeah. It's been a while since I did my placeholder countdown of like the worst things I'm seeing on WB Shop at this moment. That was many years ago. Oh, you dirty. Bam. Sorry, Sarah Logan doesn't work there. That's true. I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> she has all the time in the world to be pregnant now. <laughs> forgot about that. I forgot about that because it was like 
she was released and then they like, brought her back for something and they didn't use her. Like that's so cold. That's cold blooded. Oh man, that's right. Uh, Slammiversary, the same day as a lot of contracts and no competes expire. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of names show up in Impact. But like, I don't know. I feel that right now with the way things are and, you know, everyone's at kind of a limited capacity. There's only so many opportunities to get on TV. Any new shirt designs in the works? Uh, yeah, we got some. Yeah, we're going to do that. And then, taunt. Aha, I see that now. You are burning! Forget it. Oh my god. Yeah, put him out. Man, Kobashi's theme is so dark. Um, thanks to those who are watching, by the way. Really appreciate that. Uh, article in WrestleTime Magazine. Uh, should I know about something? Um, okay. Main event again, as it should be. Ah, uh, Heath, seeing Heath being a one and done kind of made me upset. I feel that, like, them using wrestlers' releases, which, by the way, were completely avoidable, um, and using them for storyline purposes is kind of tacky. Yeah, we didn't have to do this, but we did, and now we're just going to make you relive it. Oh, should Taker be the sole inductee next year? He should. But, or if he ever is inducted, he should be the only one. Like it's him and Andre. Those are the only two people who should like get their own their own class. Uh, Monkey Man Fifty Eight. Uh, hope you have a good birthday on Sunday. Yeah, why? Well, yeah, that angle with camera shakes a lot for some reason. I don't know. Yes. Um, Here we go. I have no idea what he's saying. But he wants to let everyone know he loves you. <laughs> Back burning. Cool. Yes. The burning hammer. Do love the burning hammer. I like the entrance attires. Very cool. So, yes, yeah, this is me doing the uh, essentially the career mode as Kenta Kobashi. For those of you who are just joining us, I'm playing Virtual Pro Wrestling 2. It's a Japanese import. So, there's Japanese here. I don't understand. I won't be able to read a lot of names. I won't be able to recognize. Uh, but I'm loving just how unique and different it feels from uh, the other THQ games for WWF and WCW. It's like so wholly unique. You know, WCW had some proprietary stuff, those games, and like WWF had some proprietary stuff, things that were kind of exclusive to them. But like, this all Japan game is in a class all its own. How is I for an eye gonna turn out? Jeez. I just don't know, man. I'm really curious to see how they pull that off. Or like have a CGI eyeball or something. Um, my predictions video for Extreme Rules is gonna drop tomorrow. So check that out. I normally put my predictions videos out on Fridays, but oh my god, he's fucking dead. <laughs> but uh, because I'm doing two live videos today, I'm doing this and then tonight I'm doing a SmackDown review, I decided to hold it off. You don't need to drop three videos in a single day. Yes, this is this is pure and genuine N64. Uh, equipment I'm playing on here. This is not a ROM, this is not an emulator, uh, but that will be next week though. <laughs> I'm, when I'm doing the older games like this, I, Jesus, that knee! 
Uh, I am going to be exclusively, you know, doing um, ROMs and stuff with that. There's no going back. Once I get my uh, controller, that was the plan today, was I was hoping to stream N64 from my office, but the projector just could not read the N64, no matter how I configured it, and it, just, it couldn't read the resolution. So that really, that bummed me out because, you know, I want to do a lot of live streams in the office, and that includes a lot of older games. So if I can't play anything in the analog era, if I can't play N64 GameCube stuff, then that really, uh, in my office through the projector, because I don't have a TV in there, then that could be kind of a bummer. Like I figure out how to get around. So ROMs right now for the N64 games is the way to do that. Um, if you reset the game 50 times, you get the entire WCW versus NW Revenge League list. Hey, can anyone verify that? I'm too busy playing this game, but I want to see if that's true. That sounds like a real bullshit thing. <laughs> Draven Xander, $10 super chat. As interesting as it would have been to see Nicolas Cage in The Wrestler, I don't think he would have been able to pull off the emotional depth. I don't know. I mean, don't sleep on Nick Ca Nicolas Cage. Like, he's a good actor. He's won an Oscar, you know? Not to say that shit hasn't happened since then, but it's like he is a qualified actor. He just, like, he does take things over the top a lot of times. So like, I think that's what he's kind of known for. But I think he can be more subdued if he has to be. He doesn't have a special or Bam. He's gonna fuck your shit up right now, friend. Okay. Boom. Will I ever review a Ring of Honor pay-per-view? I've gotten some requests. Here we go, Burning Hammer! I love that shit. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing? Um... You see, I love this. It's the perfect balance of having the Japanese aesthetic, but having short matches. <laughs> it's nice. I can bust that out in under four minutes. Ah, okay. Oh, I'm in a tag match. Okay. 30 minute time limit. But my review XPW, um, yeah, one day I have it on my schedule. XPW is something that will have to be done. It's going to be a it's, that hmm, that's that's that will be a daunting task because it will probably be the longest lasting dead fed I will have covered. You know, with as much source material to go on. I mean, you could do a whole you could do a documentary on XPW probably. I'd be surprised if that has not been done yet. Um. And somebody asked if I would review ROH pay-per-views. Right now, I, I've had requests for them, but I don't know how to go about that right now because of my relationship with ROH. I feel like that would be a conflict of interest if I were to review that stuff. So I don't know if I feel comfortable doing that yet. Did I review Backyard Wrestling a while ago? FMW. Yeah, an FMW game would have been fun. Look at those jackets. God damn, they're so cool. I want those jackets. <laughs> oh, was there an FMW game? Do I know Japanese? Absolutely not. <laughs> I know the symbols for Proresu. That's about it. <laughs> That's as far as I can go. Delay. What is my relationship with ROH? Uh, I work for them. <laughs> I have a non-exclusive contract with them. Um, I don't make a big deal of it though. It's like, but uh, it's it's cool though. Um, and there's a rumor uh, that 
we may start going back to empty arena shows. Uh, we don't, I don't know when that's going to be confirmed, but that's that's the rumbling I've heard. And so, uh, or, or when it's going to start, I don't know. But I don't know my status for that. Well, I reviewed Joker Sting. Oh, that'd be interesting. Like, I mean, again, Sting and TNA would be a fucking ridiculous video. And that would take, woo, daddy. That would, <laughs> thinking about that makes my head spin a little bit. Powerbomb me right now with a minute to match. Boom! Psychology. Buckle bombs. Thanks for cutting me off, dude. Come on. Oh, one of the ECW games. I did stream one of the acclaimed ECW games long ago. I can do it again, but it, they're terrible. <laughs> it's the problem. <laughs> Um, if WWE offered to hire me, would I accept? I mean, that's that's a very big question, and like I don't know. It just depends on what it would be for, and what the move if it's the right move for my family and I. You know, like I can't just willy nilly be like, yes, please, sign me. I will move my life to Florida, <laughs> which, by the way, is just the best place to be right now. Am I right? Yay! Here we go. Just burning hammer two minutes in. Here we go. Boom! It's gone. Uh, not the smartest idea. <laughs> there we go. World Wrestling Count. Oh, the Puerto Rican promotion? That seems like a broad thing to talk about. Sorry, I was distracted. <laughs> God, I was in permanent dizzy mode. <laughs> I like that dorkly cartoon where like Sub Zero is just like permanently doing this, and to finish him, like <laughs> can't break out of it. You need more, you need more escapades of Big Sal Graziano, yeah. His giant splashes. Alright, I forgot who's legal at this point. <laughs> Has ROH made budget cut releases? No, they have not. In fact, they have like been renewing contracts. Um, they've been paying a lot of talent, like even with those shows. I know that uh, I got paid for all the shows the month of April that we were supposed to have. But we ended up not having, I got paid for those. So, uh, and I know that pretty much everyone else got paid too. So um, I think that's an amazing move that ROH did. They did not have to do that. And, uh, you know, it just, it seems like, for, for all intents and purposes, it does seem like there is greater care now than before in Ring of Honor 2. Oh, do you only get one burning? Hmm. Anyway, um, they're taking care of the wrestlers and they're trying to make more effort into, uh, you know, Putting the company for putting the promotion first. All right, I just killed this man, so I'm going to. Oh, fuck! Ah, great, pick that up. No, don't. I want it. There we go. No, power bomb bridge. There we go. This is an opportunity right here. Yay! I did not tag Masala in once. <laughs> Uh, is Rain Water doing better financially than WWE? No, I think they still have a pretty good war chest WWE. But, you know, ROH is backed by Sinclair. Um, see, only one burning finisher. Got it. See, now, now I know these things. <laughs> Another tag team match. There we go. I will do tag team matches in this game all day compared to tag team matches in the 2K games. They're so fucking impossible. Generic music, yeah. Oh, that's supposed to be Gary Albright, but it's not. And I don't know who that, that's supposed to be. 
Do I watch Power? I haven't watched in a while. Oh, I like that. That's kind of cool. The opening stance. Static X. Oh god, I haven't heard their name in a long time. I can't remember the last song layers I heard. Um, have I seen a match between Kabashi and Masawa? No, I don't think I've actually seen them. I think, I've, you know what? I probably have like seen it in that like I used footage of Kabashi and from YouTube I found like a Masawa match. So I probably have seen snippets of it. I guess I have a Fire Pro. Fire Pro's a game I've had a real hard time getting into. And I don't know why. It's like, I don't know what it is that makes me resistant to it. But I've um, yet to really have a truly enjoyable time in that game. Like, it's not bad. It's just like, I don't know what it is that uh, gives me grief with it. How much do I love that Danhausen? Uh, a lot. <laughs> I do. Oh, Immortal in TNA? Yeah. Oh no! Top 10 anime betrayals. They have deaths or whatever. Hmm. Oh, Test of Strength. Yeah, the Test of Strength I don't think stuck around for WrestleMania 2000. So I think it's cool they kept it in this game. Do I like Deftones? I don't like, a, there's a lot of music I don't like. Uh, the, there, there's, uh, let me phrase that differently. There's not too much that I do like. Like, it's a very, I don't know, it's eclectic, but it's also very specific, I think. Because I like certain rock, like, I like more than a specific genre, I like specific bands. And just their sound. Like, I love the darkness. I love Queen. Uh, maybe it's because it's something to do with the, the lead singer. The connection being they can sing vibrato and be very high pitch like that. Um, I love Weird Al. I love Billy Joel. Not all Billy Joel. Specific era Billy Joel. Uh, his later stuff, I don't know. But um, very specific window of Billy Joel. He's like The Stranger and um, I'm trying to think of other albums that era. Uh, and then, let's see what else? Like a lot of songs again, specific era of Elton John. Uh, oh God! And I'm trying to think who else I really enjoy listening to. Like, who I can, who I can, what albums are gonna kind of pop on and let's listen to whenever. I don't know. It's a very select few. Um, so I haven't listened to much of Deftones. I guess I don't... I haven't listened to that. I guess that's, that's the answer. I don't know much of the Deftones work. Oh, shit! <laughs> President of the United States. I've only heard the radio hits, really. Cold Spring Harbor. That's a good one, too. I mean, The Stranger is my favorite album of his, in my opinion. There's a lot of like songs. Oh, I, I want to do like karaoke. Even though the more I think about it now, the more I realize there's no karaoke. It ain't come back. <laughs> the way we know it. I secretly listen to originals. Maybe I do and maybe I don't. Oh, Sorry, my posture said shit, y'all. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Masawa again getting the uh, inadvertent contact. Yeah, like, there's a lot of Billy Joel, like, again, specific era Billy Joel, but there's some songs that I just can't listen to. Um, 
like, it's still rock and roll to me. It's such a boring fucking song. <laughs> it's like, I, I, I hard, I hard pass that song every chance I get. And I like a lot of other work. God, I love scenes from an Italian restaurant. I love Vienna. Um, like honesty. Uh, she's always a woman to me. Just the way you are. So much good shit from Billy Joel. Um, we didn't start the fires on there when I don't really like. I mean, I like it, I appreciate it, but it's just like, I, I can't take that song. Especially now, because everything's kind of shit all at once. It feels like we're... 2020 has been an entire span of we didn't start the fire, as far as I'm concerned. Draven and Xander, $5... I keep saying your name different. Xander, $5 super chat. Love Weird Al. Favorite song for me is a complicated song from Poodle Hat. Oh, man. Uh, oh, shit, sorry. Oh, there's MMA strikes and combos in this shit. Um... Anyway, do I have a favorite Weird Al song? Yoda is a sentimental favorite of mine because, like, in middle school I sang that at a talent show and got a really good reaction to it, so. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, other favorites, like, absolute bangers. Um, damn. I don't know, like, um, Dare to be Stupid's a classic track. UHF. I have, like, a... A lot of love for, for the UHF song. Oh god, Kabashi's stuck! Someone save Kabashi! Piano Man, like, depending on my mood, I will either listen to it or I will not. There's some of his stuff that is overplayed, and I just... <laughs> I'll steal your finisher! Oh man, they're selling a hack. Yeah, I think it was more, I think with Weird Al's later stuff, he, there's a lot of, I mean, like, I'll listen to it, I'll appreciate it, but like, it doesn't resonate with me. I think it's because like I'm more out of touch with like more recent pop music in top forty than like obviously I was as a kid. The Willmeister five dollar super chat. Okay, your favorites are Tupac, Selena, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, and Nirvana. Do I like any of them? Um, I don't love them. <laughs> you know, like don't have any of their albums. But I've listened to plenty of. Hendrix and Nirvana and stuff. Primus, God, that's a band I have not heard in a long time. Never, I couldn't get into Primus. They were a bit too. Maybe now in my older years, I like quirkier music. I could probably get into Primus. I don't know yet though. Cause the stuff I've heard from there, I'm like, mm, I don't know. Like, <laughs> um, a little too weird for me. I have a very like. It was a very weird memory of, like, me in fourth grade. I was at a friend's house one night, and, you know, um, and we were watching MTV at late at night, because we were like, it was like, oh, sleepover, we can be, you know, rowdy and stuff. And so, yeah, watching MTV hell late at night, and the, uh, the video for Big Brown Beaver played. I mean, what the fuck is this? Like, this, this haunted me. <laughs> this, um with their plasticine faces and everything, kind of like the Duracell commercials at the time, which I hated. Um, <laughs> uh, I also like uh, Tears for Fears, a lot of, you know, some of their hits. Take On Me, one of my favorite songs of all time. Africa, one of my favorite songs of all time. Not ironically either. Uh, oh yeah, Christopher Cross is another unironic love of mine. Not Criss Cross, but Christopher Cross, his debut album specifically. Bee Gees. Always down for some, for some, for some the Gees. All right. Masawa's been in long enough. Let's give it to Kabashi. And crowded in there. Oh yeah, an ICP. Like, of course. I was uh, not a full-blown juggalo. I didn't ever wear the face paint except for the one time I did for the video I did about them. And um, 
never... Yeah, I didn't do the face paint. I don't have all their albums, but I have a lot of them. Still do somewhere. Yeah, and, uh... I've got some old JCW footage I really want to look at. Oh, there's all the chops! I love it. i got some old JCW videos I've got to, um... Watch and review. Slam TV was their product. And I don't know if I want to do, like, a long form about it, or if I want to review it, like, episodically yet. I don't know. I, I do want to give it some love, though. <laughs> I do love me some Yacht Rock, dude. Steal Away by Robbie Dupree. What a classic. And Sailing by Christopher Cross. Although, there's, a, there's songs I like better than Sailing of his. Um... Bam. Okay. He's dead. This is fucking him. Load was the first Metallica album that I owned. Which is weird. <laughs> I owned like that, the Black Album, and SM. Which I now hear there's, there's a second one coming out soon. Which is like crazy to think about. There's times, man, I, like, there's like some albums I want to get that SM treatment, like put them in. Uh... Is this us? I don't know. Oh, it's Stan Hansen! Oh, shit. That's right, it does have that kind of like transition. Da -da -da. Uh, this is a, apparently this is not us. Oh shit! It's a tag title match, but it's not us. Okay. I just want to see the entrances. The Willmeister ten dollar super chat. What about White Zombie Rob Zombie? Um, I have a Rob Zombie album. It's Sinister Surge or Sinister Urge. Shows you how big of a fan I am of his. But no, I, I got that album like specifically because of the Edge's theme was on it. Yeah, my Durango. No, not a fair. Um, I have that one. I've, I've seen House of a Thousand Corpses. I'm not like a horror movie guy. So like, I watched that and it affected me. And I was like, that's so sad. <laughs> it's so scary. <laughs> I was like, in high school. I was like, hated it. And um, then I watched Devil's Rejects many years later. And uh, I don't really care about the match that much. Um, Nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh, usually it says draw game. Oh, that music. Uh, oh, and the champ, champs uh, changed hands, apparently. Former champs! Could have been our title match. Fuck, y'all. Yeah, what I thought was funny about Devil's Rejects was like, wait a minute, why am I supposed to feel sympathetic for these guys? They were the bad guys in the last movie and they haven't changed at all. <laughs> like, I wanted them to get got. <laughs> I was mad when they fucking got away from that cop. Draven Xander, $10 super chat. If you can find it anywhere, check it out Strangle Mania, the infamous King of the Deathmatch tournament with Fully and Funk, but ICP just dubbed themselves doing the commentary. That'd be funny. Yeah, Slam TV is like, it's their own proprietary wrestling, and like, the ICP are doing commentary over it. Long suplex. <clears throat> yeah, I want karaoke back so badly, but like, it's not gonna come back. No, it's like, you can't do that. You can't do that anymore. You can't just pass a microphone around, like, all night and sing into it. Uh, you have to, like, 
man, like there'd be a system in place. Like you swap the microphone out every singer. You have like get two or three microphones, swap them out, you sanitize them and every time. Um, you know, that's the only way. Do I use official? I don't fuck with third party controllers, man. Cause like there's some things about them that are cool, but then there's something else about them that's cursed. Like the turbo mode might be constantly on. You can't turn it off. Or the shape of the controller doesn't feel right in your hands, and you kind of fuck some things up because of that. I've thought about doing some like live stream karaoke. I guess Twitch has a feature like that. I've been told. Uh, I might do that, or I might just like. I was thinking about going on Instagram Live and doing like karaoke sessions with a guest or something. Have them join in, and we just take turns and sing songs, just to get our, our performing our performance. Uh, Desires out. Yeah, Slam TV sounds. It's a very tame sounding name for something involved with JCW. Chromium. Hmm. Ow. Twitch soon here. Yeah. Hmm. Something we're thinking about. Lately, I've been just doing a lot of like karaoke, like in my car, on drives and stuff. Sometimes, like, you know, late nights when I'm editing or rendering stuff, I'll bust out, you know, sing, sing to myself <laughs> just for practice. For civilian shucks, theme on your set list. Of course, man. Oh my god! I did sing Rob Conway's theme once. That was fun. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so the play right now, SmackDown Review tonight will be live like it was last week. And uh, like I've been saying, the live the live weekly review format is not set in stone. It's a little I would like to try and go to eventually, especially if we're on SmackDown, not so much Wednesday Warfare. Um, but I know the live format doesn't sit well with some viewers, and so I want to take it into account. I want to at least listen to their concerns and try and make the live experience, you know, you know, punchy. I think that was kind of the thing people, you know, are concerned with me kind of going off track and rambling, and I get that. So I want to try and uh, be better about that. Um, not do what I'm doing now, and essentially just stalling. All right. Oh, you've done it now. Oh, Emerald Flosion. Emerald Flosion. He's done. I like how the partner like plays defense for you on a pin like that. That's cool. Is 2K20 as broken as I've heard it is? You know, like, I hear that, and it's never really given me any problems. It's not like they... Oh, shit. So we did win the belts? Cool. Neat. Where's our giant check? <laughs> so, yay. We're the champions. There's us. Tag team. Yay. All right. And then apparently there's another set of tag team championships. Hmm. Yeah, but as far as like Ticket 20, I encountered a couple of like not great moments with the game. I've seen some glitches, but nothing like game breaking. This looks like, now this looks like Dory Thong. That's gotta be Dory Thong. <laughs> oh, the all Asia belts in the AG, in all Japan. 
Yeah, so I uh, never never had a problem with 2K20. It was like, I liked the DLC I thought was interesting. I liked the sets. I liked they, they tried to get outrageous with some of like the settings. I thought that Southpaw was a little lazy. I thought the Southpaw DLC was a bit lazy. Um, and then, but the stuff like the, the swamp stuff and the horror stuff and the apocalypse stuff I thought was all kind of cool. Um, and I, I'm curious, I'm excited to see what Battleground is like. I mean, uh, if it's not 2K20, I'm, I'm willing to see what they do with it. I'm willing, I, I'm willing to, uh, I'm open-minded, let's just say. <laughs> see, I wonder how much of this game has unlocked things already, because this is a used game I have. And if you saw earlier in the stream, um, I had to start a new uh, Royal Road Succession mode. I started a new story mode, because somebody was already using it. So, like, it makes you wonder, what has been unlocked here? Well, thank you for watching, Trent. I appreciate that. Oosh. Why they close the servers of their game? I don't know. Probably they gave up. <laughs> oh, the Redskins, the uh, naming controversy. I, I agree that they should change it. It's it's time. I just don't know what you. I don't know what they would change it to. I'm not. I have no. I don't care like what they change it to. Like, I'm sure they could find a cool way to kind of like you know honor it. And, um, So, yeah, I haven't really cared about football in a long time. It's been so far off from my focus and my interests now. It's okay, Mr. Kenny Williams. I'm, uh, if I don't lo unlock anything today, I'll be fine. <laughs> Take that old man, Dory Funk. <laughs> Can you imagine Terry Funk taking the burning hammer? He would. He would take that shit. I want you to drop me on my head. I don't want you to go easy on me. <laughs> do, 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 do. 60 minute match. Oh, Jesus. Champion retained. That was a draw. <laughs> yes. We're marching to all Japan, where we're going to have some people beat each other up. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I fighting now? Who's the next jobber? <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna send you back to the WXO. <laughs> Jesus, I love that they hype the movement up, but they never showed up. Nope. You just get this grainy ass footage of. Not even like egg dome footage. I think it was like turned out to not even be Tokyo Dome footage. Um, I love that it's Johnny Ace is in this game. This has to be the only video game he was ever in as a playable character, right? This has to be. <laughs> Feel the power, the people power. I like there's a sense of urgency in this music. It's like a bank heist. <laughs> I 
Here, feel the power. <laughs> it's a new day! Yes, it is! <laughs> oh, people at home! Don't you dare be sour! Because me and my partner, Mike Martin, we're coming to the WXO! And we want you to feel the people power! I got lightheaded doing that. That's really hard. That's really hard to pull off and keep doing that. Oh my Jesus, that high knee. <laughs> oh God, I'm just beating the fuck out of him right now. Just giving up, beating the bejesus out of him. Beating the devil out of him. Oh, oh he's in sort, in sort of in Natsume. Okay, that makes sense. That's a game I want to play again. I want to try playing Natsume and I want to try playing, um, what was the game? The one that there's a big Vader in, the cat, the cat, the cat com made. What did I just do there? I just turned into a fucking, just briefly turned into a North Dakota for a second there. <laughs> what? What does New Day mean? I don't know. I don't care. Oh, is that true? <laughs> Johnny Ace has more five-star matches than Brian Danielson. Aw, that makes you sad now. Boosh. <laughs> Fuck your neck, Johnny Ace. Saturday Night Slam Masters, thank you. Oh, God. Yeah, I want to play. God, I want to try to get a raw uh, emulator for Super Nintendo and do like a Slam Masters. That'd be fun. <laughs> oh, if they change into the Americans, though, you know that Cowboys fans would be mad. The Cowboys are America's team. Arbol Arbusto with a 10. Is that pesos? Uh, super chat. Thank you very much. Um, okay. Seven or no. Give me the championship. Oh, fuck. What's well, a tag title match? Here we go. No, and I know that five star matches, the rate, star rating shouldn't be taken as gospel. I know. I love these hour long draws. Half an hour draw or double DQ or something. Yeah, it's like. He couldn't escape that in this game. Okay. Do we handsome invader? Hell yeah, let's see this. Oh shit. Oh damn, it's the all Asia belts. Damn, oh title for title. Oh my god, this This looks fucking epic. Can you imagine? I'm sure this match happened. Oh, it's just, it's just their titles, though. Still. That's the burning hammer on his back of his jacket. Sweet-ass jacket. Look how proud he is. <laughs> Who's the man? <laughs> he he sells like giant baby though. His head is massive. Like, I can't tell if it's the same head shape as Hansen's and just the matter of like perspective makes it look like one's bigger than the other. But yeah, Vader looks ridiculous in this game. Like, they made his head way too big for his body. <laughs> if Billy Corgan made a wrestling album of Smashing Pumpkins, so I'd buy it. I had listened to it. I don't. I can't remember the last album I bought. <laughs> I can't remember the last MP3 I bought that wasn't for work. Um, 
Yeah, I, <laughs> which, by the way, was the uh, title, was, was the opening music to the uh, Christmas Bounty. We're gonna have a happy Christmas. 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 Um, I bought that one for the purpose of the review. <laughs> and um, then, yeah, as far as albums go, like, when's the last, I guess, like Michael Jackson's Escape? Probably the last album I bought. No, Mandatory Fun. That might be the last album I bought. Can you rip out Vader's eye on this? <laughs> I hope so. Because even Mexican wrestlers, if they do, I have not found them. Give me the chops. Give me the chops! <laughs> yes. He's just so proud in his chaps. How do I like working for ROH? Uh, fuck, I forgot that's not my corner. Th that fucks with me. That fucks with my head so much, because I'm so used to being in the lower left corner, like, all the time. Uh, anyway. <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, 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 working for ROH. It's been a lot of fun. Um, it's been a great learning experience every time I've been there. Uh, again, to work with a lot of great guys and gals. And like I mentioned, uh, the fact the company takes care of its talent um, the way they have since I've been there has been great. Um, there we go. Come on, take your... I guess I can't take your Larry when I already have a Larry as a finisher. Um, you know, with the Escape album, I find, uh, only a couple of the original I actually like more. But not too many of them. I actually like the remixed version better. Damn! <laughs> Just job Stan Hansen the fuck out! Tanner didn't even do anything! Peter Misawa. But, yeah, I mean, I love ROH. I think that's one of the things I miss the most about this pandemic we're living in, is I can't do those shows right now. Um... It was, it was the highlight of my month, you know, getting to travel and uh, be a part of those. So I can't wait for those to come back. Oh shit, all the belts. And I can't wait to get back on the road with them sooner than later. And I know that, um, like I said, there's the rumors they may be doing empty arena matches soon. Um, I hope we'll find out soon on that. Because I believe it's supposed to be as early as next month, but I don't know. Yeah, Vader got job the fuck out. Oh shit, now we're getting... That was like Mike Awesome, if I'm not mistaken. Which Mike Awesome and Dr. Death would be a great fucking match, would be a great tag team. Are you fucking kidding me? These two beats beat the slam the fuck out of each other. And... Dr. Death from the University of Norman, Oklahoma. That's what the N stands for on his singlet. Here we go. Time's it now. Check 1030. Yeah. This was, I, this stream almost did not happen today, folks, because this morning as I was trying to get ready for it, for some reason I could not get the Elgato to configure right. I could not get a signal. I'm like, this is the setup. This is what I do. Like, what what is happening? And um, at some point, the settings changed on my Elgato, and it was not reading my N64 my anymore. It was, it was at the PS3. I'm like, I have not. I can't remember the last time I tried streaming on the PS3. Certainly never one for an actual live stream that actually went live. I know I practiced at some points. Um, But anyway, um, ah. God, they fairly nailed my awesome book here. Lola Bloodworth, five dollars super chat. What gimmick or kind of gimmick would I like to see in wrestling today? Hmm, that's a good question. I have always. 
wondered why we don't see more, like, nerdy characters. And I don't mean, like, in a derogatory thing. And I'll give you an example. Like, I worked for a promotion in Sacramento many years ago. And, um, one of, their, one of their younger wrestlers who went through their, their training school and who was, like, one of the most over guys for as brief as he was there was, um a dude who like was kind of like a wrestling nerd but he was like in shape he was a great athlete he just liked nerdy things so he kind of came out to like he came with the glasses and stuff it was kind of like a taking ownership of it and like he would lead a nerd chant but he'd be nerd 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 like he was it was ownership of it like i would love to see more characters like that or at least one because you know how many people who are wrestling fans can identify with being you know nerds of other fandoms like anime or you know like Dungeons and Dragons or like all that stuff fantasy uh, science fiction like why has there not been a wrestler who's really captured that kind of vibe I feel like New Day might be the closest because they also like anime and video games but it's like that doesn't really play into their characters as much I feel like as like what I'm envisioning but I think that'd be a cool idea for a gimmick but I think I'd like to see someone try and pull off. There we go. Boom. Oh. Gonna job out Mike Austin and Dr. Death in two minutes too. Watch me. <laughs> Jesus. That was, I didn't even use a finisher. This must be on easy mode or something. <laughs> this was on way easy mode. Okay. Let's hang on. And that, if that's the case. Um. Save it, and then exunt. Oh, I guess Brandon Cutler is a character like that. Yeah. I guess like Ember Moon is supposed to be a D&D &D character. That's never explained. That's never fleshed out. Um, okay, I'm just, I'm looking at the guide real quick so I can see where options are. <laughs> so options is there. Now I have to find difficulty. So wish me luck on that. Options. Yeah, take me to it. Um, okay, here difficulty is the first thing. It was on easy. This is very easy. Easy, medium, hard, very hard. Let's just at least ramp it up to medium. See where that takes us. I know that Japanese games are inherently more difficult <laughs> than American games for some reason. So hang on, what are these? I want to know what these match types are. Let's go. Uh, okay, so. Find in page. Exhibition. So, singles, tag, three-way, battle royal, or elimination. Um, okay, sorry, I got distracted for a second. Um, those are your match types there. So let's do it. Let's, let's do battle royal. Let's have it in, okay, so your options here for the venue are uh, Budokan, The Dome, um, AKI Hall, the Stadium, Kawasaki Stadium, this is Dome Road, which is unlockable. So yes, this has been unlocked, so that's pretty cool. Um, press start here to rename the highlighted venue. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good to know that that's an option. <laughs> okay. And, uh, yeah. Have all the wrestlers in the world! 40. Uh, looks like it's like thir close to 30. What is this, lives? What is this? What the hell am I looking at here? <laughs> um, 
Oh yeah, it's live. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna work on a handicap. All right, I'm gonna have half as many lives as the computer. That's this is the, the handicap I'm giving myself here. As Giant Baba. <laughs> yeah, there's an elimination mode here too, so I could do that if I wanted to. And like Battle Royale is also essentially the same. Uh, give me a name to play as. If any of you have played this game before, who's your favorite? And uh, let me know if you want me to play as. I think that was the other unlocked Tokyo Dome. This is the one with the ramp. Um, is it a team battle row? I guess so. Well, let's do it anyway. I don't care. <laughs> is it a team battle row? Yeah, well, yeah, okay, let's not do that. Still 28. Now, who do you want me to play? <laughs> uh, some of uh, uh, Vader. That's right, people want me to play as Vader. I will probably play as him. But let's, uh... <laughs> the body of a Pop-Tart for Giant Baba. I love that. Otaka is in this game, isn't he? Or oh, I could be Michael Barton. Michael Barton. Oh, he's got the gloves! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Now, what is what is the significance of the yellow? I wish I knew, but I'm gonna... Whatever, he's Brawl for All. He's Brawl for All. Yeah. And we're gonna put him with Vader. And we're gonna put him with Hanson. And we're gonna put him with Ace. It's a gaijin Rific Battle Royale. <clears throat> God. I'm tired of seeing Johnny Ace's face in this can. <laughs> I really hope that Barton is like restricted and he can only do the punches because he has the gloves on. I hope it's like the other boxing character from uh, World Tour. <laughs> okay, good. He can still do all the grapples and stuff. That's so funny. Oh, Jesus! Bart's got no problem throwing Vader around, apparently! Damn, Vader in his later years itself for fucking everybody! You're gonna get the old Vader tonight! <laughs> Do it again! Come up, big man! Oh, it's right, there's like a shoot- Is there like a shoot mode in this game? Or like there's MMA rules? Oh shit, don't go out. Don't get don't get yourself eliminated. <laughs> I was uh Um <laughs> Can we get did they bring in Terry Funk to yell? My eye, my eye <laughs> yeah. Oh you can you can go out on the ramp and not be eliminated. That's kinda cool. Look at the strength of Michael Barton. Brawl for all winner, Michael Barton. Look how tiny his boxing gloves are. They're adorable. See, I gotta play it. I gotta do MMA mode now. Now that I know it exists, I gotta try to figure out how. Oh, fuck! I have a bread basket. I have a kidney. Whoop! Out he goes! <laughs> There we go. <laughs> I want to see like the ghost of Vader. I want to see a hologram. I want to see like, a Jedi ghost of Vader giving kind of a knowing nod after the end of the eye for an eye match. <laughs> you did it, kid. <laughs> I can, my soul can finally rest. My soul is so big! Jesus. Not to make fun of the dead, that's not what I'm doing here, but... <laughs> you got the old Vader tonight. You got the one-eyed Vader. Oh my god, Bark has getting fucked up. <laughs> no, Johnny Ace, why?
Boy, this music just keeps going. <laughs> Koala kick. Oh my god, sorry. Hard go again, a little messed up. Oh, sorry, Kawada. You gotta go. Boom! <laughs> go to take my system, right? <laughs> oh god, Vader is Obi-Wan. <laughs> the force flows through you! It guides you! What a bunch of bullshit! <laughs> oh no, I'm done. <laughs> Alright, who am I gonna come back as? I don't know who that is. It looks like Trevor Noah making a face. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's this? Who's next? Oh shit, it's a dude in a mask! It looks kind of like Dyna um, Dynamite Pegasus! Well, from Five Star Wrestling. Um, so KO talks to an ROH wrestler on a regular basis. I bet he does. I bet he's friends with a lot of guys who are still in Ring of Honor. Right. <laughs> Tell me who I'm supposed to be, y'all, because I don't know who this is supposed to be. Off the top of my head. I'm going to guess, like, Pegasus Kid, maybe, but, like... <laughs> I, I would rather have Vader as Vader. <laughs> Obi-Wan! Never told you what happened to your father! I can't go with that, I guess. <laughs> Search your feelings! Go to the power of the Force! You know it to be true! Samurai. <laughs> Look at the dark side of the force, so big! <laughs> I, I was gonna keep doing the I'm so big promo over and over again. Because it works. Oh, I'm El Samurai, apparently. Okay. This is like Hayabusa, correct? That's gotta be a Hayabusa mask. Or I'm playing as this game's version of Chono? What? Why didn't Chono wear a mask? Rockets Fan 101, 199. Look out, it, it's that guy. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of me going, it's that guy here. I'm sorry, I don't recognize many people in this game. The force is strong with you! But you're not champion yet! Where's my where's my friend Cheatham? <laughs> Jesus, imagine that confrontation of the White Castle up here. Luke! Time to learn the power of the dark side! Grab this strap! Or did this tug of war over fire? I'm an ice table! Oh, black is Sasuke. Sasuke. <laughs> oh God. Paul Bear is the emperor would be a good touch. Yes, let the hate flow through you, Skywalker. <laughs> I just wanted to recast Star Wars now as fucking <laughs> wrestling characters. Oh my God. <laughs> can it? Can someone? Can you really? Can you really bring back somebody from the dead? Can you really learn that? Not from a Jedi. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, that just tickles me pink now. These look like Liger pants that dude's wearing. Let's go put the shapes on the side. There we go. Look at me, father, I'm so big! 
<laughs> yeah, how have we not had a wrestling version of Star Wars yet? Alright. Oh. One of them rare barefoot fighters. Got it. He's a, he is a shoot fighter. He is some karate. Hornswoggle will totally be an Ewok. And he would be just as intelligible. Can't understand what the Ewoks are saying either. Hulk Skywalker. <laughs> you don't understand, brother. I gotta get back to Tashi Station to pick up some, co some power converters, Jack. I can't even fucking say that. Sorry. Brother, I gotta go back to Tashi Station to pick up some, co some power converters, dude. What's the dark side gonna do when the largest lightsabers in the world run wild on you, brother? Fuck. Hulk Hogan would be Luke Skywalker. In the confrontation where he's trying to lure Vader to the dark side would be fucking Hulk and Andre again. Vader, brother! You can't do this, brother! You're my friend! <laughs> People are pitching Scott Snyder's very different characters. <laughs> Someone's pitched Scott Snyder's General Grievous, and one's as Boba Fett. Oh god. Why can't I Irish whip this fool? What the fuck? Is this dude wearing fucking stick him on his boots? <clears throat> oh god. Scott Snyder's Jar Jar would be great. <laughs> White trash! You so white trash! <laughs> you so white trash! You's the people gonna do me an egg! The big bad Duncan Daddy! <laughs> Misa say boom shakalaka! <laughs> God. <laughs> Get out. Get out of the ring. I made a 28-man battle royale, and I'm taking way too much time with this. <laughs> oh, look. He's on the ramp, but he's not eliminated. Pretty fucking clever. What was the first wrestling show I attended? Oh, Shoot Fighters Can't Irish Whip. That's interesting. They're so Shoot Fighter. They're so karate. They don't know how to fucking wrestle. But you can, you can strong... Okay, well, apparently... Okay. Ah, oh, wasting my whole damn special on that. <laughs> if you hear me, sup. <laughs> I gotta do. I gotta find the Snyder Mask promo now and do that. <laughs> That's why. Can you hold, can you imagine redoing episode one, the whole Gungan army in the Battle of Naboo, and it's all just Steiners? <laughs> just picture that. Picture it and know that you love it, that you want it. Tell George Lucas to count that shit. Wah! Uh. <laughs> Just constantly taking a shit. That's a that's a shit face right there. Also, I love God. That's a real. I, I've never I, and I haven't noticed the animations getting in the ring yet. Because usually they slide into the ring and they're just like power running over the ropes. Vincent Mann is the Emperor. Not as funny as Paul Bear. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that is charge. Oh, Jesus. Hm. No, 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 no. The unintelligible wrestlers have to be aliens. That's the rule. If you can't understand them, they gotta be like on that or fucking <laughs> horn swuggle. Is that Carlos Colon? I don't think that's Carlos Colon. I, I doubt it. Carlos wore a singlet. Or unless you're saying the blue singlet's Carlos Colon. I doubt that as well. I doubt that more than Andre. Paul, I can't do a General Grievous. I don't know. I'm trying to think about that one. And also my Paul Heyman's not that good. My Paul Heyman is Bruce Pritchard doing Paul Heyman. So it's not the same thing. And Bruce Pritchard is an obscene exaggeration of Paul Heyman's voice.
<laughs> what is that noise? <laughs> it was the moan of the night. Oh god, I thought it was be a three-person test of strength. Oh man, I, I would love to see a three-man test of strength. So, um, somebody asked my first show I went to as a fan, last show I went to. Um, first show was actually a birthday show for Buddy Rose. It was his 50th birthday, I think. No, or it was his 40th. Must have been his 30th, 50th. Um, I went there as a fan. That was my senior year of high school, and that was um, before I ever thought about going to him as a trainer. Um, and then the last show I went to as a fan, uh, when Jay Biggs ran the Taco Fest last summer, and like my kids were there for five minutes and wanted to leave. I'm like, but you wanted to come here. <laughs> you talked about it all year. What the fuck? That's too loud for you. Um, and then. Uh, the last show period I went to was um, the ROH show in not St. not St. Louis. It was right outside St. Louis, uh, but technically St. Louis. The night that uh, Rouge won the title back. That was the last show I went to. So it's a long ass run too. It's like it's not paced the same because in the Battle Royals in the WWF games, you just hear their music play. But this is the constant background music here, so you don't get that like initial start of like, oh, the person's coming out, you know. Trick Flair, not where any other is real, that'd be funny. And again, my flair is kinda like Kevin Mann doing with flair. I don't know if I wanna like cop his style. Oh, Hiroshi Haas is in Hase is in this game. Uh, that is him, by the way. <laughs> All you who want to call them out in the chat, please do so, because, again, I'm not going to know most of these. Well, that's Gary Albright. See, I, I keep confusing Gary Albright with Brent Albright. I'm like, that's not what Brent Albright looks like. Here we go. Oh. I'm sure that lasted a long time as, as uh, El Samurai here. Jeff Cobb is Boba Fett. What the fuck? <laughs> Jeff Cobb doesn't have a voice worth making fun of. <laughs> Jeff Cobb doesn't have a funny voice. He's lovely. Rick Flair is Obi Wan. Luke Trustin the Fourth. Let go, Luke! All that long! <laughs> yeah, I... I can do Teddy Long as Lando, just doing the one life. This deal's getting worse all the time. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, after this battle royal, I need to uh, get into the. I need to find the uh, the shoot fighter mode. I need to create Al Green, and I need to uh, just have him dominate fools. And by that, I mean get taken out of one move by Dan Severn all the time. Oh boy, oh boy! I like that little animation. That's fun. Like those are just animations you just never see. Because, like, how often do you get a chance to be parallel or on the same level as the apron like that? That's so cool. I will never not mark out for that little feature. Undertaker is Watto. You should use that chance, Q. Boom. Trying to think, uh, Jesse, someone wrote Jesse Ventura as General Akbar. I don't know. Uh, trying to think of some of the other names that might be good for Akbar, like a Johnny Ace or like Brian Pillman or Stevie Richards going along with the raspy voice. Oh, it's a trap! All these Death Star plans, they look so good. Oh fuck, jumping pile driver. 
Oh, Keiji Muto in the red, apparently. Oh, but Great Muda is a separate character. I believe there's ta yeah, there's tap outs and eliminations too. I was in there a long time as El Samurai, so I'm not surprised he gave a pretty good there. No, he became a general. Admiral Akbar became general in the later movies. Oh, who the fuck is someone junior? God, you buy one thing from Wish, and they bombard you with notifications all fucking day. <laughs> I just bought this um, shirt of like, uh, it's Randy Savage stops the rapture from happening. Uh, <laughs> I saw it on a Facebook ad. Well, first, what, what drew my eye to the Wish ads on Facebook were like, adult diapers, and here's this like, 30 year old model, this, like, this lady model wearing them, but like it's uh, not someone who needs diapers. Like, the fuck is this? Why would Wish sell me this? I scroll to the right, I see the shirt with Macho Man stopping the rapture. I'm like, well, they got me. They got me figured out. I have to buy this shirt now. <laughs> so it's a, uh, yeah, it's a, it's, um, oh God, yes, make Savage Akbar. Exactly. It's a trip. Unjustifiably in a position we'd rather not be in. Oh, huh. oh I'm Dr. Wa I'm Dr. Wagner Jr. I love the I love the Zubaz pattern there. <laughs> you sir people gonna die, yeah. Yeah, because back in like 2011, like there was this religious group who thought that the world was going to end like the day before that happened the, the day before that date randy savage died and so there were people who theorized that savage had to die to stop the rapture and so then somebody <laughs> photoshopped like savage from all stars elbow dropping jesus as he's like standing over the earth getting ready to crush it so then somebody put that on a shirt i'm like well i'm gonna get that now here we go well, Taka was in and he was out, so. <laughs> oh, this is. Oh, Taka's in the black jeans? Jesus. No, there's no way Taka looks like that. In 2000? No. There we go. Dr. Wagner Jr. Take the fools out. Oh, breaks it up. No, this wasn't even 2012. It was 2011. Like, every year there's a fucking doomsday thing. Every year there's a doomsday conspiracy. Oh, he's a shoot fighter. He's some karate. By the way, here's some karate shirt, now available for wrestlingtees.com slash wrestling with regret. So is the like what you like shirt, available in black and yellow or yellow and black. Because um, there's a connotation there, see. Um, there's a shirt I want to do a limited print of that uh, my editor Izzy did. Um, I had this idea in my head and she grew up. She looked at me to make it available as like a limited release. So, be on the lookout for that in the future, I think. And also, we've been talking about other trip designs we want to do. Twenty minutes. Mask or gator? What do I wear? Actually, um, depends. It depends on what's clean. Because I have we have a lot of masks now. And, but um, presently, I'm wearing an ROH gator mask. Um, but I also have a regular covering. Boom. Beating the fuck out of people. Oh, no, that didn't work. Here we go. Oh, man. So, I hope you guys liked the wrestler review that I did this week. It was probably the trickiest one to do for reasons I kind of fleshed out in the, in the opening. Like, how can you do a review in my style in this, like, really sad movie? Uh, and also, my editor and I were talking about that because she handles the, the B-roll and everything. 
And she also felt kind of like hamstrung a little bit in the editing because like we try and throw in gags and jokes and stuff and she does that visually as well. Oh, apparently, oh, this is the end of the Battle Royale now. And you can get eliminated that way. So like, we were both kind of feeling kind of awkward about this. It felt different than what we were used to. Um, so it was it was nice to know that we like that I wasn't alone in that kind of feeling and that we both had that issue in our own respective struggles and, and our jobs. So, but I think we were able to put out a quality thing. We got the gags in where we could. Uh, the getting the shirts over Marissa Tomei's boobs about six minutes in the review, that was her idea. I, and she surprised me with that one. So I was really happy with that. And yeah, um, I'm glad I got it done. I'm glad I finally finished it. Boom, how'd you go? Dr. Wagner wins, Dr. Ritter Jr. wins. All right. Now let's try to find this MMA shoot mode here. Uh, I eliminated 14 people by way of ring out. <coughs> Excuse me. Like, what do you even like? What does that look like? Um, here. Okay, there's a first blood match. Oh, that's interesting. There's TKO. I guess you can just do. Hang on. Oh, mixed martial art rule set. Jesus. Okay, hang on. Okay, we're gonna try this here real quick. Um, so, can I do a four-man MMA match? Just like four just beating the fuck out of each other? Um, let's do single tag, or let's do a three-way shoot. Uh, in the Budokan. So yeah, next week's review or next the next long form, it's the opposite of the wrestler in about every way. Uh, it's another movie. I normally feel kind of wary about doing movies back to back, but this one I think needs to be looked at. Um, it's really bad. It's not grunt, and it's not and it's not I like to hurt people. It's not those movies. So that's right out. So if you want to, you know, that, that's my hint. It's a movie, and it's really really bad. Uh, also. I can give another hint, I guess. Uh, it was produced in 2001, but didn't come out in 2004. So if you know any movies like that, that's another hint. Um, okay, so. Uh, I don't know what that means. Oh, no, it's title selection, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, no? <laughs> Uh, let's... let's do Illumination in the Budokan. Yeah, that works. Let's do, uh, let's do three. Nope. Three and five. That would be a fun handicap. Oh, Paradise Alley. Yes, I know a lot of people wanted me to do that. All right, so. Okay, so. so you're, now, y'all are saying that. I'm so confused, but like. How do I identify shoot fighters if they're in the red? Is that how it works? No. Um, someone help me out here, because I'm. <laughs> I can just try and find the people who look the most shoot fightery, I guess. Is that ghetto? That's a ghetto. Um, God, Mike Awesome. I love these in this game. Daw. That's a Mighty Maccabee. <laughs> Brian Christopher's face. What the hell? <laughs> okay, now we're in the shooters. Okay, the red means they're shooters. I got the red text. Okay. 
I'm gonna be this uh, CM Punk looking character. And uh, I guess this dude, and I guess that dude. Now blue team, this dude, and this dude, and this dude. Okay, now, uh, I'm guessing this means MMA rules, I don't know, okay, hold on. First column, rule set. Um, okay, the next martial arts. Um, Jesus. Okay, rule set. Ring out. There's like a one count? <laughs> um wait, what? Oh round. This is round. Okay, so let's do, let's do one round. Mmm two three rounds. Okay. That's round. Um no wait. No, this is round. Okay, let's do three rounds here. Um, rope escape. Um, oh, this is one point. Uh, take down is worth two points. Quick match. Dong save. Second column. Time limit three minutes. Lose when at. 10 points. Knockdowns are 2 points. Then give up. Yes. Bloodshed. Uh, referee stops the fight. That's effectively first blood. Time decision. Sure. Let's just do that. All right, I'm curious to see how this goes, man. We're in the dome, I think. Uh, NWA has not gone under Steel City. That was something that was addressed yesterday by, by Billy Corgan on his Instagram. He posted that. It's not going away. And so... Good news for fans of NWA and wrestlings in general. Here we go. Oh shit. Oh shit. Take down. Here we go. Oh. Also. Damn. These shoot fighters. They are some karate. Oh. So wait, what's a takedown then? <laughs> I'm taking him down a lot. Oh, damn. Oh, shit, son. That's so cool. Wow, that's so cool. I love that. <laughs> I guess you just knocking him over is not a take down. You get to actually like pick him up and knock him down. Yeah. Chikara's gone, man. That really sucks. That's like I think promotion wise, it's the biggest casualty of the speaking out movement was uh Quackenbush being kinda outed and then just up and quit. I mean closed the whole thing down. Um, so that was interesting, I thought. Does the style use the round system? I don't know. Do you feel good about it? Um, I'm sure there's a way you can manipulate the rules to make it kind of like a round system. Uh, I believe CZW still... I mean, like, CZW, I think the worst thing that happened to them was they got some flack for, like, selling their rights to a distribution company that took all the women's matches and, like, gorgeous double D 
beat them up babes. Fucking probably. We don't know. Uh, and so the women wrestlers took a section of that. And um, I think that's the only thing I heard about CZW lately. But then there was the... Um, yeah, but Chikara did. GCW still going strong. They're apparently they're running a show in Atlanta this weekend. <laughs> like it baffles me still to see other companies like starting to do shows and stuff. But they're doing like they're doing it in you know their open air venues, social distancing's in place. I imagine they test the wrestlers. I hope so. <clears throat> By the way. Um, Anyone who's questioning with the ROH stuff, there will be a lot, there will be testing. In fact, I'm under the impression that when these shows happen, um, they're going to bring talent in like two days before the actual tapings for testing and that sort of thing. Um, and then at the end, or then and then after those two days, then they'll uh, then they'll have their matches. <clears throat> Uh, what happened to most of my wrestling video game videos? A lot of them taken down. I don't know why. Hey, look at that. Oh, that's the mission. Is WoW still? I don't know if WoW's still around. I'm sure WoW's still, like, technically in operation. They just... They got hung out to dry when, um, TNA moved to Access. I feel like New Japan and, and WoW both kind of suffered. Come on, tap out. Oof. Oof. There's a evenly matched contest here. Not too many points separating us. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting that you can't <laughs> do that. Um, have I <coughs> played Field the Bang? No, I've not. Um, oh shit! Whoop! Uh, but yeah, no, no, I don't feel the bang exists. I really want to play it. And now that I've got, like, now that I'm finally like, opening up to using emulators and shit, like, you know, why not? <laughs> Fuck. Boom! Our <laughs> takedown. We'll do my TKO in a minute if he gets it again. In the second round. Yep, not now. Okay. Oh shit, am I just gonna go through all these guys one by one? I wonder if he suffers any incremental damage or anything like that. Okay. <laughs> the spear out of the battle, love it. Bam. Not playing around. <laughs> Does Devil Rejects count as a wrestling movie? No. And DDP's role, it's like it's pretty it's it's okay. His role in that movie. I would I would not count that as a wrestling movie, though. No. You will not be seeing me review the Devil's Rejects. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody tries to resurrect Shakara down the line, like once things die, die down. Uh, there are other people who are confidants there who I'm sure are still good people who could do it. Uh, God, like what a one-two punch. Like Rory Gulak being outed as uh, his, his uh, child porn stuff he's got apparently. Uh, and then, uh, with Flagenbush <clears throat> being kind of outed, you hate to see it. 
Damn, I'll just do that over and over again. Nice. <laughs> it's Steve Blackman with a brawl for all. I just typically keep taking him down. Oh shit! Oh my god! Damn! That was fun. <laughs> Ugh, a little woozy. Oh shit. And another takedown. Just spam these moves. Alright, come back from that. Damn. And now I'm working the leg. It's psychology. Oh. <laughs> Roll the punches. Oh, damn. Man. Never been on the receiving end of one of those. Oh, nice. Yeah, I can't go to the top rope. <laughs> Alright. I'm done toying with this man. Boom. <laughs> Yeah, the Jakara game that was in development for fucking ever. That gets changed drastically. That sucks. I'm excited for Retromania Wrestling. That should be really fun. When that comes out. Alright. Last match here. What I need is a better fighter who's better who's better at, you know, producing or with hit you know, making hits that draw blood. Because I know I want to do like the first blood rules. I'm gonna take down you off the thing. Weird. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it sounds like they'll, be re sounds like they'll re release it with a new name soon. And we've been doing this for two hours now. Wow. This is probably where I'm going to wrap this stream up is with this game. Um, this afternoon, my plan is to uh, film my next classic review. And uh, it's probably one of my most like nostalgic pay-per-views I can recall doing as far as harkening back to a good time in my fandom. So, whoop, out you go. Um, so, so how do I feel about this game so far? I mean, I like it. It just feels really different from a lot of stuff that we've seen. You know, the contemporary games, like we've seen Revenge, we've seen WrestleMania 2000, and this is kind of a game that bridges the gap between them, but also uh, has a lot of other things that neither game has. And there's a lot of similarities. So if you're familiar with WrestleMania 2000 and that layout, there's a lot of similarities you can find your way through. Um, but then there's some new things, like the MMA thing, which I think is a really cool concept. GTA Adventure Bay, oh god. The Ryder and his team of pups are ill-equipped for the uh, arrival of Michael DeSanta. Um, this is, by the way, this is a genuine N64 cartridge I'm playing on with the official controller. None of that third-party nonsense. Boom. Kick. 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 Oh. God, yeah, I mean, I'm surprised Mario hasn't come up with a wrestling game. They have every other kind of game imaginable. Every other sport. They have tennis. They have soccer. They have racing. They have golf. They have uh, board games. They've uh, got a lot of things going on with them. They should have like a boxing or a wrestling one. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Argentina. Oh shit, oh, he's working on my arm. He's working on my arm, oh no! 
Oh my god, with four seconds in the first round. Then last. <laughs> Do I miss speaking with Corny? No, I don't. <laughs> Although I heard that my friend sent me a clip of him from the drive through talking about the call in messages that WWF did for a very short time with like Bear and Taker singing Happy Birthday. And it's just hearing that audio was great, but then also hearing Jim punctuating with what the fuck was pretty funny. <laughs> It should be the last one. <laughs> should be the last fight because my dude's fresh. I'm not gonna fuck around anymore. I'm just gonna do spam takedowns. Oh shit! Oh, he's not playing. All right. Oh nice. But yeah, barred boxing. Yeah. Oh shit. Counters for days. Yeah, I want to see Mario and Luigi fucking swing chairs at Bowser. It's amazing they haven't done that yet. Oh my god. One time they'll get one of these wrestlers in the corner. Um. Oh yeah, the virtual basement stuff. I'm in talks with them. I'm definitely, uh, I'd like to be involved. It seems like one of those things where like, how do I get so many people involved in this thing? It seems like an ever-growing number of individuals. Um, yeah. You may or may not see me on virtual basement, so take that as you may. Whoa, shit. Takedowns. Why that be counted as takedowns? These feel very takedowny to me. <laughs> oh yeah, wasn't the spikers? Wasn't that the soccer game? Yeah. Oof. Oh my gut. Ouch. My gut again. Damn. Boy, this explains a lot of moves. There we go. Similar regret game. Oh jeez. What do they even look like? It's all my side characters. <laughs> Who would you even get to that belt? <laughs> I'm not angry video game nerd big. I can't get my own game. That's a takedown! <laughs> Why aren't these being counted as takedowns? Takedown, god damn it. I keep spinning my back fist at you. Oh. Hmm. I love how the force as you fly through. Yeah. Yeah, you know, in all the speaking out, the Me Too stuff, I'm kind of surprised Vincent Mann was never taken down in all this. Like, there's been enough shady stuff over the years he's been accused of that um, I'm surprised that nothing ever really came of those. When will I shave the beard? Uh, my plan, I, well, I, I'm on the fence about it because my Halloween costume for the year involves the beard. But I'm not sure if I want to really hold on to it for all the way until October 31st. So there's a part of me that wants to shave it now and then just like grow it back in time. Take a break from it for a bit. But if not now, then it'll be in October. <clears throat> that is my only, my only hint is that is my costume involves a beer. Really narrowing it down. <laughs> Come on. 
keep back as you, you fucking knock it out. out. Boom. For all, for all 64, exactly, man. I should just try to recreate the. Oh, that'd be so fun! I need to recreate the Brawl for All now. Oh no! <laughs> what the fuck? I've barely been touched in this match. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna do next time. Is I'm gonna try to recreate the Brawl. I'm gonna make all the fucking wrestlers. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the mod for this. I'm gonna get the ROM. I'm gonna get the English packs so I don't fucking struggle the whole time. Remember where I am. Will I review 09 pay per views? Probably. Uh -huh. I mean, odds are I will. I just don't know when. <laughs> That's a takedown. Fuck you. <laughs> like, why aren't you counting as a takedown? A beard versus beard, not the J. <laughs> There we go. Not fucking around anymore. Down on points, but I fucking came back with a tap out. All right. And there we go. My team of guys who I don't know the names of, but I'm sure are based on people, real people, um, took the W here. And that's where I'm going to wrap this up. Oh, man. Oh, getting up and... Um, well, thank you everyone for watching. That was a big stretch. That was a big doggy stretch. And uh, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun playing this game. Uh, next week you'll see me back, but I'll be in my office and it'll be an emulator, not an N64. And I may try and actually recreate the Brawl for All. Let's see what happens there. But um, thank you so much. Thanks so much for the super chats that came through earlier. And uh, you'll see me again tonight live for the SmackDown review here on the YouTube channel. And it will um, probably be happening <clears throat> between 9.30 and 10 Pacific time. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching and thank you for all your uh, support. And uh, check me out on Patreon if you haven't yet. Patreon.com slash Wrestling With Regret. And you've got uh, Pro Wrestling Tees. Find all sorts of marvelous shirts there. And, um, yeah, maybe we'll feel the bang, too, next week. Uh, there's a lot of choices there. But, um, again, thank you so much, and uh, let's do it all again next week. I'm Brian Zane. I'll see you next time.